Hello again guys, we're back with another video. It's June 20th and everything is looking pretty good. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a garden update, but not a full update. Because the update that we're going on today is not really about all the plants. It's more about one. And what we have today are our beetroots. Now, before I get into, before I harvest this beetroot, uh, I need to explain a few things about them. So, beetroot is actually a cool season crop so it doesn't really do very well in temperatures that are pretty much summer temperatures which is like 95 85 they'll usually fare better in like 70s to 60 degree weather And also, they make really good plants for home gardens and very small gardens as well because they don't really take up that much space despite the plant being so huge. Another thing to know is that when harvesting, you don't have to use uh, any tools of that matter because it's quite easy to pull them up but if you're going to use a tool you can use one to like uh how can i say this um lift the the beet root out of the soil but you have to do it on the edges and by doing it on the edges it would avoid damaging your beautiful beet root so now we'll get into the harvest part of this video. Now I kind of grew quite a few of them. So the best solution would be going by the base. You can also wiggle it to loosen up the soil around it. There you go. As you can see, not too bad. I kind of had them clustered up in the same space, so they were kind of a bit too close to get any bigger. It's not really supposed to at least separate them. Uh, uh, how? Four, six inches apart, at the very least. It would probably say a little lo a little while longer than that. But yeah, this is pretty good so far for my first harvest. And I can just show you the few over here. 
But it's not really no problem because it's not really, well, I mean, it's not really any problem because you can always harvest early for little baby meat roots. So now that we've done this session, I will go on to a few other plants. But um, the reason why I didn't harvest more is because I kind of want them just to be a little bit larger. A little bit. And this, this one right here is a pretty good size for me. So, these are my grapes. And as you can see, they seem to be doing uh, pretty good. So soon enough, I'll be having some nice grapes. Over here is my Swiss chard. It's a rhubarb variety. So it does have the look of a rhubarb, but it isn't poisonous like one. The leaves and the stems are edible. This right here is my echinacea, and it's very, very, very close to blooming. So I'm excited to see that. And... On the side of my beetroots are creeping thyme. These are perennial plants. They make very good ground covers and are substituted for grass lawns. Well, uh, that is pretty much the end of my showcase. You can tune in next time because you know what I say every day. It's those fruits, herbs, and veggies. This is Brandon Rogers Gardening Channel, signing out.